The last time I spoke to one brother who was smoking like a chimney, and believe me, everyone agrees smoking is a bad habit. Brother, quit it! He says, who are you? Welcome to the Islamic Voice, where we delve into essential topics in Islam. Today, we'll explore why smoking and alcohol are prohibited in Islam. Mufti Mank provides powerful examples from the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, showing us the wisdom behind these prohibitions. Let's listen carefully. The last time I spoke to one brother who was smoking like a chimney, and believe me, everyone agrees smoking is a bad habit. Brother, quit it! He says, who are you? I said, the Quran says, وَلَا تُلْقُوا بِأَيْدِيكُمْ إِلَى التَّهْلُكَةِ وَلَا تَقْتُلُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ بِكُمْ رَحِيمًا Do not use your own hands to destroy your own selves. And do not kill yourselves, for indeed Allah is most merciful upon you. So this is a way of harming yourself. Do you know what answer he gave me? He said, well, you stop breathing. I told him, what do you mean? He says, if you breathe oxygen, 70 years later you die. It took me a second to figure that out. But I was shocked. I said, what a statement. So he's saying, oxygen also contaminates your system. Stop breathing. Imagine the answer. I said, my beloved brother, we are saying it out of love. I know today we have so many people who might be smoking, but I'm still saying it with that amount of love to say, my brother, I have bad habits. May Allah make me quit them. But that doesn't mean we mustn't raise the other bad habits. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help you to quit it. Wallahi, look at the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. As soon as Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uttered the statement, they immediately surrendered to it. I want to give you one example. There was a messenger who came in Medina Munawwara, and he just made an announcement, Allah in al khamra qad hurrim. He says, behold, this intoxicating drink has been made prohibited. What did they say? They spat it out of their mouths in some instances. They threw down whatever they had. The drums that were filled with the alcohol. This example reminds us of the importance of fully trusting in Allah's wisdom, even when we don't fully understand. As he's highlighted, Allah's laws are sent to us through the best of souls, the messengers, who ensure that these teachings are followed with sincerity. This shows us the value of living by the divine laws, knowing they are meant to protect us from harm, such as the destructive effects of alcohol and smoking. If it was us, we would have probably said, my neighbors are non Muslim. Let me quickly sell the champagne to him before I actually stop from today. Because I don't want to incur the loss. What they did, no. That is why they were Sahaba. عنهم, they dropped it, they blocked it, they stopped it, they threw it away, and they said, never again. I think our first point of stop would be this guy's lying. If someone just came and made a big announcement, the first thing we would think is this man is telling a lie. Let's go and find out. And we would dilly dally in finding out being worried whether it would actually be true or not. And the day we actually find out only Allah knows what we would have done. So this is why the narration says Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose the messengers. Allah chose the messengers from all the souls. He selected the best of souls. He selected the best of souls, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And thereafter the messengers. And thereafter, the best of them after that were those of the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Amazing. Those of the companions. Why? They were prepared to surrender to what was uttered so that when it was enshrined as law of Islam, it came down to us. Had they disputed it at the time, it would never have come down to us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them and may he grant them an absolute reward. Another in conclusion, smoking and alcohol are prohibited in Islam for our own good. The example of how the companions of the Prophet reacted to the prohibition shows us the level of dedication we should have to Allah's commands. Let's strive to follow these teachings and protect ourselves and our communities. If this video gave you a better understanding of why smoking and alcohol are forbidden, make sure to subscribe to the Islamic Voice and turn on notifications for more insightful content. Leave your thoughts in the comments and may Allah guide us all.